Hello everyone. Today we'll ask Vivek sir what it takes to actually get through an interview, sail easily through it. So first of all, let me highlight one of the most important things that Vivek sir always talk about. Sir, you always say that 80% of success in any interview depends upon the easiest question asked, uh, which is introducing oneself or tell me some, tell us something about yourself. Right. So what is the right way to get through this question? And like you say, the 80% success, which depends on the question, please elaborate and help the students out there. Right. So, uh, first of all, just a small correction, even not for not only for students, the same rule is applicable even for professionals who are looking okay. for jobs. The ones looking for jobs. Looking for job Fine. changes or first job or okay, okay. even till, till 15 years. <laughs> because see, this harmless question which is introducing yourself. So, whenever you enter uh, interview cabin or room, student or a professional, hmm. generally the first question which is also the question to break the ice many times mm. is when you when the candidate sits in front of the interview panel they will ask you to introduce yourself or tell us something about yourself now most of the candidates tend to take this question very very easily and they will speak seven eight lines generally it would be your own name your father name mother name from where you belong mm. maximum from where you have done your education and then you will keep quiet on the other hand, as I said, this question can actually define 80% chances of your success in that interview because I have given you, the interview panel has given you an open-ended question to impress me and direct the interview for the next 15 minutes. That's point number one. So this question is not as easy as we all tend to think. While answering this question, hmm. you need to tell me in the next one and a half minutes, you can easily speak about 15 lines. Now, those 15 line, sh lines should be the lines which tells me really something about yourself. Now, you are a normal human and you come to me and you say, sir, my father is XYZ. My name is this, which is still fine, but my father is XYZ. Now, how do that impact me by knowing your father's name? Vis-a-vis, -vis, vis -vis, mm -hmm. you say, sir, my father is Anna Hazari. Mm -hmm. I, I, mean, I know he's bachelor, but just to give an example. Or my father is... A person of that caliber. Mm -hmm. Now, by hearing this name, I am getting something, mm -hmm. or I am trying to create an impression because that father is a famous celebrity, or sometime with more, which is actually the case, especially for the RB kids. They say that my father is a major this or a colonel this. Now, when I know, when I hear this as an interview panel, I immediately start creating impressions because he is an army uh, person kid. He should be disciplined, punctual, uh, sincere, self-motivated because all these qualities you generally tend to attribute to the army household. Army. So knowing this, I am trying to create an impression, good or bad, God will say, but it actually happens. vis a -vis when you when your father is one of the 130 crore population of India, it doesn't make a difference. Hmm. Similar, similarly, from where you belong. Do you belong to a typical normal metro? Doesn't make a difference once again. But is, is your home city is again something which is trying to tell me something. Mm -hmm. so, so these are small, small things which I always tell people when they approach us for personal coaching uh, that your question is the most important part. Your 15 lines are, should be well chosen and each line should be kind of creating a positive influence in my mind about you. And there are standards as I as just take the example of army household. Similarly, when somebody actually mentions that I come from, uh, you know, city of Kanpur, hmm. okay, it's a normal metro city with a lot of population. Vis-a-vis hmm. -vis somebody says, you know, sir, because I come from Allahabad, you know, my upbringing had a lot of religious influence. Okay. So that is also you, how you complete the sentence. Hmm. And now you have given me a hint that you are a person who believes a lot in religion. Religion. which again can be positive or negative, negative. looking at the circumstances mm -hmm. but you are giving me that impression mm -hmm. so from where you belong what is what is your family background you have an elder brother who is working as a journal manager in a company so now i i think by hearing this statement that you come from a professional background mm -hmm. your family atmosphere is very professional vis a vis you tell me you have an elder brother who is a property dealer now again my impression would be very different okay so how you choose the same things 
will make a difference and then your extracurricular activities your hobbies your past projects if, even if you're a fresher mm -hmm. out from the college or going to enter to college every small thing which you have done mm -hmm. will tell me something and now as part of these 15 lines in the last two three lines especially can you take me to a certain thought okay can you take me to a certain thought so just to again give you a very specific example, when I was going for my IM interviews, I had this great experience of working for two years with Coca-Cola. And within Coca-Cola India, again, uh, courtesy to their great GT program, I traveled across India a lot. So, you know, when I was introducing myself, and even today, when I say ki, I have worked for Coca-Cola for two years, I say, sir, other than learning about production and plant management hands-on, and working in close coordination with sales team, shipping team, supply chain team, and quality team. So I am making this, all these things I have learned obviously, but the biggest learning that I got in two years is working across cultures and people in India. Okay. So this is how I explain my experience for three lines, which is actually the case. Mm -hmm. It's nothing, uh, nothing wrong Cooked or nothing up made, up made up in exactly. this thing. That definitely I learned plant management hands-on. Mm -hmm. Working with Coca-Cola 20 years back, we are talking about 18 years back, I learned about how sales, shipping, supply chain, finance works is in an FMCG. Mm -hmm. But other than these learning which maybe anybody can get when, when you work for one year in a factory, I was blessed to at least work and live for more than one month in seven different cities, mm -hmm. which were mostly in seven different states of India. So I had stints in Jaipur, Hyderabad, Vijaywada, Siliguri, all the way to Guwahati. Mm -hmm. And I was able to work very closely and relish very closely, experience very closely how different cultures work in India. Mm -hmm. And then when we went to IIM, there is actually a subject which is taught by the great B schools called Indian Society. Okay. Now that can be a different video and it can be a very long video, but then you are able to correlate very easily. So the subject is actually teaching you mm -hmm. theoretically that how different people from different cultures tend to have different working habits. Mm -hmm. Now, as an experienced person, I have experienced that, that, that all those things hands-on. So, I am supposed to share these experiences in the introduction rather than, you know, my name is this, my father's name is mm -hmm. this, I have got these many siblings, every sibling is doing this job, I stay in this colony in Delhi. So I can waste my 15 lines on that. Yeah. So I can actually use those 15 lines to talk about my co-cobble experience or some other two, three great experiences. Mm -hmm. And even leading the interview future with these three lines. So when, okay. I, when I share this co-cobble experience, even after 16 years, people tend to talk, me, talk to me about the same experience. Mm -hmm. Okay, Vivek, tell us how the Siliguri experience was different from Guwahati, different from Hyderabad. Mm -hmm. And I have great confidence of explaining that, right? You have lived that life personally. You lived that life. So that, that's what it's all about. That's why I say, answer to that question, plus how you can lead the future, rest interview, mm -hmm. define the success, and 80% of that thing can be done if you smartly introduce yourself. Mm -hmm. so, so it's generally a practice also. And now in the professional world, when you go for small, small seminars, especially startup meets, you will hear something called 60 second pitch. Trust me, 30 second pitch. Okay. And the largest is 120 second pitch. So you, you come to the stage and somebody tells you, explain your startup idea in 30 seconds. Okay. And the entrepreneurs are able to explain the startup idea in 30 seconds. And that defines whether you go to round two or not. So if a, if a startup founder can define his business idea in 30 seconds, can't we as a individual professionals can define ourselves impressively in 90 seconds we can it can be done so just make this as a habit mm -hmm. and uh, people shall be or you shall be sailing through poverty thank you so much sir My you have very rich experience and will help a lot of people out there great thank you everyone for watching